separating there do you see that can you see that that is awesome all right now I'm going to try and make sure that I don't do another petal right next to that's touching those so I'm gonna do this one now you saw when I drew this unfortunately I was I'm drawing light because uh, I don't want really heavy marks on my on my paper, so um, you weren't really able to watch me that well. But this is a very loose rendition of the photo that I'm including with this course. It's my loose rendition of it, and you are welcome to use my drawing. I would encourage you though to draw your own or try both ways because drawing is important. The ability to draw is important. I guess I might as well get into my tracing issue here on this painting because it has been sort of on my mind that I wanted to talk to you about that because there are so many people who are, I mean, it's a touchy subject that tracing is. And how should you feel about it? You know, how should you feel about it? I mean, that's the way it is. It's how should I feel about this? I think that the people that are out there telling people what to do, how they should feel about something, really kind of need to get a life. Don't, don't they understand that art is an expression of yourself. Art, you're expressing yourself. Every person has the right and maybe even the responsibility to paint, to draw, to create the way, the way they are. It's coming from them. And for someone to sit there and say, oh, you shouldn't do this, or you should do that, or oh, your your what you've done isn't worthy because you did this. Well, you know what? I have two words to say to them. Shut up. Just shut up. It is not up to you. You are not the art Nazi. Or maybe you are. Maybe you think you are, but shut up. Nobody's going to listen to you. Everyone needs to do what they feel comfortable doing. If you don't have any interest at all in drawing, but you want to paint, then if you followed the art Nazis uh, dictation, dictatorship, you would never get to paint because you, you could never get that drawing on paper first. And that would be, that would just that would just really suck. That is not okay. It's not okay to stop people from painting because they are 
sticking their nose into other people's business. When you sit down to create art, do what you feel. If you feel like you want to trace something, trace it. And don't feel sorry about it. Don't feel guilty. Don't try to hide it. Don't, don't listen to them. If you feel like you really, if you have a little twingy thing inside there going, I don't know if I feel comfortable. I don't know if I feel comfortable tracing because I don't know, it just doesn't feel right or something like that. Well, then don't do it. Do search your own soul, your own mind, your own heart, and go with that. And as far as tracing itself goes, they say a lot of people say, oh, you could do a grid or you could shine something up on the wall and trace it like and and do it like that. That is just as much tracing as putting a paper on a light box and and tracing it or putting it up on a window and tracing it. So that's where I am on the issue. I believe that it's our individual responsibility to create art the way we feel we want to create art. And if it includes tracing, do it. I certainly am not going to condemn you for that. I think that the goal is to create, to, to have fun, to, to have an artistic expression. And, and if it includes tracing, I'm happy. I'm happy to give you my drawings uh, to trace if you want to trace them. I am happy to do that. So what do you think about this color so far? 